Hey guys, this is Peter from MyJewelryBench.com and FineWatches.com. I wanted to uh, do a review today of some tools that I use every single day uh, while repairing watches. So something that you guys should have and I'm going to make my recommendations here based on the fact that because I use these every day, um, my recommendation for the types of screwdrivers and a care for the screwdrivers that you're going to have to have. I've had this set of Bergen screwdrivers since 1999. Now it's 2018, so they're almost 20 years old. These screwdrivers uh, have held up phenomenally well. Uh, one exception is I did uh, I did lose my number 60 or number 80 rather, but I got a replacement for that. A little different style than the original. This Bergen set is a 5970. Of course, they don't make this particular model anymore, but they do have the uh, the new Bergens. That are available i'll have a link to these uh, under the video so in the description of the video you can check it out and also on my website where i do the review of this uh, this particular set of virgin screwdrivers like i said has lasted me for what 19 a little over 19 years now the screwdrivers come in a variety of sizes and you'll see the, the 50 to the 250 and they go up from there 50 60 80 100 120 140 160, 200, 250. Now that's the millimeter size. So for instance, if we take the 50 out and we look at the screwdriver tip here, what this is is actually, uh, I'll move this out of the way, this is actually a uh, half millimeter blade width. So the blade width itself, let me get that focused up here, the blade width itself is one half of a millimeter. And that's that's used obviously for some of the very small screws. Um, the ones that I typically use the most, I use the 80 a lot and I keep a lot of replacement blades for this just in case. These screwdrivers are very durable. When you hold them in your hand you can see that uh, you the little top that spins on it so when you're, you're holding it you can put pressure on there and turn it with your with your two fingers just like so gives you good one hand control. Every screwdriver is exactly the same. They're color coded and they have a corresponding matching color right there so you know where to put your screwdrivers just to make it a little easier for you. In this particular set, let me take out some of these screwdrivers here. In this particular set we have storage for replacement blades and the replacement blades are very good to keep because you will go through I won't say a lot of blades, um, you're going to break a few here and there, they're going to wear out over time, so you do definitely want to keep some replacements. Good watch supply house, which you can find from our website, uh, as well as some replacement blades on our shopping cart. You can get the replacement blades for each of the screwdrivers, this particular size 120. These are, what size are these? These look like 80s and so on. So you can get them in every single size that you have. And again, that's by millimeter width. And you can see 100 here is one millimeter wide. So those would correspond to this particular, the black version. Now I do keep probably 10 replacement blades for each size. And the ones I go through the most Obviously, the smaller ones, the 50s, 60s, 80s, and 100s. I go through those a little more because I use those with the watches that I tend to do repairs with. Um, this particular model has a swivel base. So on it, we have a nice bearing style swivel base. And that's kind of convenient because when you want to turn it around, you don't always want to pick it up from the back. You don't want to knock it over. So the swivel base, uh, just to grab it, put the screwdrivers back in, is kind of a nice thing. Now over time you're going to bend chip break some of the little ends of the watch and the end of the screwdriver so it's going to happen when you do chip a little piece let me get that focused up here when you do chip a little piece what we use is a sharpening stone now you're going to take the i'm going to grab the bigger screwdriver so you can kind of see what i'm doing here you can see we have nice flat end of that screwdriver. What you're going to do is you're going to take that, put it on the stone, and on the flat end you're just going to rub gently back and forth. And you're going to do that on both sides. 
this allows you to keep your blades nice and sharp you try to go along with the with the angle so you want to keep on the same angle now depending on the screwdriver sometimes I'll just sharpen in one direction that keeps any burrs off of it that helps keep this that blade nice and straight in addition I'm going to angle this a little bit you want a nice flat head on that screwdriver tip so I will just kind of run any of the little burrs off of that then we just check and make sure that everything's nice and straight and when it is nice and straight the screwdriver can be used without damaging any of the screw heads um, as you probably know if you've ever used a flathead screwdriver on a, on a screw you can damage you know even big screws so when it comes to watch making what you want is the most perfectly straight edge that you can get to fit into the screw so that when you turn it you're not doing any damage to it now the Burgeon kit like I said there's there's several versions available um, I'm going to put in, in the description below like I said I'm going to put two links for Burgeon screwdrivers and one budget screwdriver also on the website you can uh, go to myjewelrybench.com and do uh, a quick search in in the cart for the screwdriver sets that we have available we recommend Burgeon is one of my favorite um, I spent $120 for this set back in 1999 and a similar set today is going to cost you about the same we haven't really gone up in price too much thanks again guys for watching my review of the Burgeon screwdriver set these are available at our website at www.myjewelrybench.com and they're also available in the description below with the Amazon links that are provided. And anytime that you buy anything from our website or in the descriptions below our YouTube videos, we get a very small commission and that money goes to helping edit and produce these videos. Thanks again. Have a good day.